Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Golf playthrough. Um, last time we unlocked uh, Yoshi uh, to our team. Uh, so now we have six golfers that we can play with. And uh, we did unlock a new course as well last weekend. So we're going to be obviously working on that. Um, but let's play as, uh, let's continue to play as characters we haven't played as yet. So uh, we have not used Baby Mario. So let's go ahead and use Baby Mario today. Of the initial four, he drives it the farthest. Um, he also has a little bit of draw to his shot as well. I wouldn't really say he's, like, that great of a character, though. I think it's just kind of the same thing with all of these initial four characters. Like, they're not bad. It's just that they don't really have the distance to really um, hit the ball too far. Um, it's very unlikely you'll get eagles with them on par fives. Uh, so they're kind of on the weaker end of the spectrum just because of that. But for the most part, like, he's not a bad character to play as by any means. Um, also, as far as his uh, co uh, character colors are concerned, he has, like, two blue ones. Although, I guess this is more white than blue, but, you know, he does have a, a blue outfit, which is kind of cool. But we're going to stick with his just normal and default outfit, as we normally do. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do our next tournament. We're going to be going to Shy Guy International today. Um, this is the quote-unquote desert course, and this is honestly where things kind of get um, a little more difficult. There are some holes that you have to kind of uh, maybe play a bit differently, and you can't like attack as aggressively as you would otherwise. And I also find that there are a couple of holes where the like out-of-bounds uh, area is... Uh, in places where you wouldn't really expect it to be. So you just have to, in general, be more careful. Uh, I'm actually going to go... Um, I feel like this cactus over here is going to give me problems. So I'm going to actually go down one club uh, with just the three wood. And we're going to try this. <clears throat> I don't think this should be too bad. It's important to try and avoid uh, obstacles like trees and cacti. Um, when it comes to this course anyway, so... We're obviously going to try to do that. Uh, the wind does seem like it'll be pretty strong. Uh, I'm going to go for this. Nice shot. I think that's going to actually be really, really good, too. Um, didn't bounce as much as I would have liked it to, but it's okay. Do have a bit of a lengthy putt for this. It uh, doesn't break too much. I'm going to see if I can just... That should be pretty good. Ah, damn it. It broke just enough, so it didn't quite make that, unfortunately. But, it's an easy par, at least. <laughs> I also love that animation for Baby Mario. It just goes, eh! <laughs> so who do we have on the list this time? We have uh, Wendy O. Koopa from the uh, Koopas. We have bob -omb from the bob -ombs, And we have... Maple from the Syrups. I'm sorry, bad joke. <laughs> That's a really bad joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there is actually something I can say about Maple, but we'll save that for later. Uh, <laughs> maple from the Syrups. <laughs> uh, we got Navi the Fairy playing with us this time. We have a Deku Scrub and a Goron Kid. A lot of... A lot of Zelda influence in these names. However, this was, like, a year after Ocarina of Time came out, so... You know, obviously Nintendo, because Ocarina of Time was such a smash hit, naturally they'd want to try to advertise that game as much as possible, because it was, like, literally, you know, the game to play back then. Not bad, though. A really nice shot. Uh, we didn't have to deal with wind, which definitely helped. Uh, so yeah, this was going to be a pretty easy one to capitalize on, I think. Although I almost uh, didn't hit that shot hard enough. I also like how Baby Mario gets like really happy whenever he gets a birdie, too. He's just like, yeah, wee! <laughs> it's pretty cute, not going to lie. Uh, but man, uh, <laughs> when it comes to his bogey animation, now that's definitely something else entirely, but... We'll obviously save that for when it happens, if it happens. Obviously, I don't want it to, but, you know, sometimes I can't control these things. So, yeah, honestly, like, the wind's not even that bad this time, but again, Baby Mario just doesn't quite have the distance to make it all the way to, uh, 
the green in two shots, which is something other characters can do a lot more easily in a situation like this. Ooh, that was an unfortunate roll there, but eh, we'll deal with it. So I'm going to need to probably hit this one a little harder, because we're in the rough. Maybe not this hard, but I'll just not go full power on this one. Although I went pretty close to full power anyway. <laughs> that should still be alright, though. I think we're going to on the green at least, or just off it at the absolute least. Okay, that should be... That's easily puttable for me. I'm still... I still can't believe I said maple from syrup. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not funny, guys. So it looks like it's kind of breaking to the left, but then it breaks at the right at the end? Like... Well, you know the rule for this. Just stay where you are, then. Although, okay, I guess it broke more to the left, though. That's okay. That's a par I'll be willing to take, honestly. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We did move down on the leaderboard, but again, do not stress the leaderboard until you get to the end of the game, because chances are it's not going to change much. <clears throat> so here, um, this hole has a bit of a canyon um, in the fairway here. Usually for situations like these, I'd recommend not going in the canyon because then you have to deal with like the slopes and stuff and then like you have to hit it a little harder because you're hitting uphill. Well, I think if you just like stay up here, like it's the line is pretty much already set for you, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this, but I'm gonna actually try to not hit it full power. Hopefully that's not too weak. That should be fine though. Uh came down harder than I would have liked it to, but we did make it, again, pretty close to the green at least. So I'll take it, I guess. Oh, come on. You couldn't just hug the hole and just kind of go around, do a little swirly around it. <laughs> I love when it does stuff like that, but that's okay. And see, like, we you know, got pars for both the last holes, and we went down, then we went back up, so... Again, you really don't have to worry about the, uh... performance of the other people so much. The one performance you should be, like, kind of level with is the... I guess the person you're playing with, I guess? And again, I'll, I'll go over what that means in a minute. Let me make this shot first. That's going to be kind of... Uh, that's not going to be a great shot. It's going to be... Well, it's going towards it, though. Okay, that was better than I thought. Nice on. Nice <laughs> Whee! <laughs> uh, okay, so um, you see, like, our scores here, and then you see the whole... Basically, the hole tells you what hole they just finished. So, I finished a hole uh, five with Shy Guy. So, um, the person you're usually, quote-unquote, playing with, that's going to be, like, at least one of your biggest competitions in that particular tournament. So, as long as you, like, stay within reasonable distance to them, you should be fine. But, again, we also have, like, a lot of holes to play still. We still have, like, 13 holes to play, so... Even if he is four strokes ahead, it, that w will not last. That will not last at all. Um, this is also a par four. This looks like a pretty long par four, though. I might actually... I'm going to use a power shot here. And... Mm, we're going to end up only going probably as far as we would have if we just used a no power shot, so that was kind of a waste, but whatever. We'll try to make it work. And see, here's a difficult thing right here, because obviously we have, you know, sand in front of us. So I'm going to actually go over here, play a little more safe. That should be a really good shot. 
And see, with a little bit of draw that Baby Mario has, it'll kind of start going, yeah, to the left a little bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I played it safe right there. We have kind of a longish putt right here, but again, I'm glad I played it safe. Also, this is another kind of misleading putt. Like, it looks here like it's going to the right, but here it looks like it's going to the left. I want to say, yeah, I want to say it goes to the left. Like, it's, again, hard to say, but looking at it from that angle, it definitely looks like it's going to the left, so I'm going to stick with what I think it goes. And I was right, just, uh, didn't have the nice. correct lineup. I definitely read that putt correctly, I just didn't have the right power, didn't have the right line. It's all good, it happens. Shy Guy apparently got an eagle on that one, but again, his score will be, come, will be tumbling down at some point soon, so we do not need to worry about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this, because again, we're hitting downhill, so obviously, like, if we do it this way, we'd be going probably overshooting it, so we're going to stick with this. Maybe not go full power, but no, we did it anyway, so we might still overshoot it a bit, but... That should still be pretty close, at least. Even the slope was kind of kind to us, brought us down a little closer, but now we have kind of a, another slope to deal with. Honestly, putting probably is, I think, the hardest thing to, you know, manage in Mario Golf, because it's hard to read the lines, and you just kind of have to have a feel for it. I've played this game so much that I, I'm usually pretty confident with it, but... You know, even I'll admit I'm not perfect with it either. Okay, so finally I have some uh, rough wind. Uh, I'm going to go for over here because I think the wind should... Plus we have a little bit of draw with Baby Mario as well. I think this should be fine. I'll move it a little bit over just to be safe. But yeah, I think we're fine. Come on. Come on, wind. Oh man, yeah, the wind really took it over. That wind is no joke, folks. Man, I'm just nailing these nice shots. I wish I'd do that more with power shots, honestly. But... Oh! That would have been really good if it didn't hit the rough right there. But, oh well. I'm going to do it again, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for another... Insane putt from the fairway. I'm crazy, I know. Oh, that was so good, though. <laughs> that was so good. I just honestly think my accuracy is better when I putt as opposed to... Oh, no! We're gonna get a bogey! Ah, uh, dang it. Okay, well, here's his animation for this. Well, sounds like Yoshi's Island, I guess, if you want to get technical. <laughs> For all those who love the crying in ba uh, Yoshi's Island. Uh, I'm a little I'm a little ashamed. I'm oh, not really ashamed. I'm disappointed that I end up getting a bogey on that one, but it is what it is. Especially after that really good putt, too. That putt was legendary. So this is going to be kind of risky. I'm going to hope maybe I can clear... Actually, yeah, let's let's try doing this. I honestly feel like the wind should carry it over. Uh, oh no. Come on. Get over the sand. No! Ah, oh, dang it. It's because I didn't hit it. Um, <clears throat> it's because I didn't hit it perfect. That's, I think, the only reason why that happened. Because it took the line off of what it was supposed to be. And see, this is even going to be kind of risky, like, our second shot here <clears throat> is going to be obviously nerfed a bit. And now we have to get to uh, the green in this next shot, and that's not even a guarantee either. We're hitting it downhill at least, but... Hmm. Do I want to use another power shot, though? That's the only question. I kind of don't. I'm going to just have faith that 
Yep, a nice shot. Have faith in the nice shot. Oh, man, that was... The wind must have carried it to the other direction, then. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, I recovered nicely, at least. I was kind of hoping that would roll back in, but... Didn't get that lucky. Okay, so we're only, like, two under par after nine holes, and Shy Guy is seven strokes ahead, but... I think this is when he'll start losing points, and, like, we're in third, so... Not a bad place to be, honestly. Uh, but let's go ahead and just, you know, keep playing. It's not over till it's over. That's my philosophy. Um, let's try to go... Uh, this is another one that's just, like, really tricky, because obviously we don't want to go in that sand right here, so we're going to you know, try to play a little safer and not hit it as hard. Minimize the chance we go into that sand. Just see if we can kind of attack this. This is actually a good position to be in right here. But now we have the approach shot, which... Okay, this doesn't look too bad. The one thing is I could see kind of a problem like we had in the last hole where, like, we had a really good shot, but due to the angle of our previous shot and, like, where we were coming from and the wind and everything, it just didn't quite go the exact location we wanted it to. So we just kind of have to manage that again. Maybe we'll get more lucky this time. Oh, we made it on the green. That's something. Oh, green edge, anyway. Oh, man, and this... Not a great shot, either. Even though this is on this meter, I think I still want to use this, just in case, because we are hitting it kind of uphill. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. Felt good about that. Felt good about that. Okay. So there we go. Par four. I think that's a pretty good location. See, we're going, like, right at the wind. Uh, the one problem is, obviously, the slope we're on. As you can see, it's kind of going, like, to the right a little bit, so that's going to gonna need to maybe adjust for that a little bit. But aside from that, this doesn't look too bad. That should actually be a pretty good shot. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Another lengthy putt, but... That might be a little too hard. Nope. Okay, just enough. Sweet. Okay. Well, two birdies in a row. We're starting strong in the back nine here. And, uh... Well, Shy Guy isn't dropping yet, but... Give it time. Give it time. He'll drop. He'll drop. <laughs> also, Maple is still up here as well. <laughs> He's probably not too happy about that syrup joke. <laughs> Ooh, man, I've, I've had some really nice par 3 shots, not gonna lie. I'm pretty happy with my performance on the par 3s so far. Have I birdied all the par 3s? I no, I birdied at least one of them. Um, yeah, I did. I've birdied all the par 3s so far. Interesting. Also, Maple did drop one, so she dropped one, I went up one, so I'm in second place now. Now, here's the thing, like, Shy Guy, he's still at 9 under par, but he isn't gaining ground either, so that's kind of what I'm trying to look at right here, is that he's not gaining, which is what I should be focusing on. Okay, waste another power shot, unfortunately, but I think that's fine. This is one where I think I'd recommend using a power shot because of this next part. Uh, because, for some reason, I don't really get the reason why, but 
all of this sand here is actually out of bounds. This is not a bunker. This is classified as out of bounds. So you kind of want to get up here as soon as possible. Just so you can kind of mitigate that and not really worry about that so much. We're also hitting it uphill too, so... You know, maybe a little harder just to, you know, maybe get up there more. That might be a little too hard, but again... I'd rather be safe than sorry. I think it's better to miss this far than as opposed to miss it short, because... There's also a lot of uh, very bad rough up there too. Man, I am hitting this back nine really strong. Whee! Whee! And there we go. Shy guy starting to drop. Starting to drop those strokes. And it's raining. It's raining in the desert. Also, yes. Uh, haven't really mentioned this yet, but whenever you get a perfect shot, like a perfect drive with, like, uh, Baby Mario. And I want to say, that, like, with all the characters, Mario, Mario care like, Mario also does this. But you get, like, a nice little fireball, like, a nice little fire effect to your shot, which is kind of cool. There are other effects, and we'll definitely show those off as we go throughout the game, as we play with those other characters, but, uh, the fireball I've always thought was pretty cool. It doesn't actually, like, do anything extra to your ball or anything, it's just a purely visual thing. Okay, gonna aim this a little harder because it's raining. It's actually raining pretty hard. And the wind, I mean, rather. Uh, this might be pushing it too much, though. Actually, maybe not. I don't think it is, actually. Now we're gonna do this again. It's not gonna break as much because it's raining. That might be a little too hard still though. Oh, that was a good shot though. That was a good attempt. Man, if I parred like all of the par fives, like my performance on the par threes have been great, but the par fives, I think I've actually been kind of yeah, I've been breaking even on those. Oh well. There is one more par 5, and that par 5 I think is actually the toughest par 5 on this particular course. This one also goes downhill a lot, so... Uh... Kinda wanna play this a little safe. Cause if I hit it here, I feel like it's just gonna go past the green. I'm still gonna try it. Actually, you know what? That might work. This might actually be a pretty good shot. Okay, well, can we keep the par 3 streak going? I think we're just going to hit this full power. Ah, oh, dang it. If I just hit it a little more to the right, I would have probably had that. Nice part. That's okay, though, because as we saw, Shy Guy is dropping, and we are actually tied with him now. I'd like to maybe hit uh, 9 under par before we end this round, just to kind of, you know, get where he was before this ended. <laughs> that might be kind of funny to try. Well, thankfully, like... That should still be fine, because it's... I think it's more important to hit, like, the back line as opposed to the forward line on the shot meter. Because the back line actually adjusts, like, in terms of how straight you hit it. So I think that's fine. Um, we are hitting it uphill. Not too much. And the wind's also carrying it, too, so... It should be fine. Oh man, that's nice. Okay, that'll be a birdie. That's a very easy birdie to get. Oh, I think I did miss like a 9-foot birdie earlier, which was not great, but... 
whatever, we're good. Okay, so as I said before, this is the par 5 that's definitely uh, the hardest par 5 on the course. Um, this is an out of bounds. This is bunker. Again, I'm not sure like why like it's different in that other course, but or the other hole, but it is definitely bunker here. And see, this is this is the kind of hole that's interesting, and I'll I'll, I'll bring up the overall like the the overhead view of the hole in a second, just to show what I'm talking about. But um, as you can see, there's that uh, kind of circle fairway to the left. Um, if you have a character that can hit accurately and to that space, it's recommended to go for that because then you have like less distance to the hole and you can easily get it in two. But with other characters, it's just you know harder to manage that. Like as you can see, I don't think Baby Mario would have been able to get over there as effectively. So you know, obviously, it, it's really dependent on the character you're using and if you can actually make it there. That should be okay. That, yeah, that's actually really good. I'll take that for sure. Now, we might have a little bit of an angled shot, but as long as we do this, hit it like this, and let's go for it. Come on. Get right next to the hole. That's where I want you to be. Not right next to it, but it's a birdie attempt. No, okay, just wait. <laughs> I love that sound effect that they use. Come on. Ugh, man, I just could not get a birdie on any of these par fives. Almost didn't get a par there either, because I just almost whiffed that shot too. Okay, well, Shy Guy's down at three under par now, so <laughs> he definitely got wrecked. I'd like to see his scorecard, because he's like he had to have gotten like a double bogey on this one. Okay, well here we go. This is the last hole. Um, it, it seems like in a lot of the cases, like if they're not par fives, the par four final holes are always like really long ones. I think of all the uh, hole 18s we've done so far, this is probably the more friendly ones, I guess. Also, sometimes if you press the B button when your, uh, you know, your shot is still in play, you'll get a replay. That's basically what that was. There wasn't any particular reason why that happened. It just accidentally pressed the button. It's like, okay, you want a replay? I'm like, no. But <laughs> it's gonna give me the replay anyway because reasons. The wind is just bringing that back. Still made it on the... F oh, it's still the fairway. It's okay. Let's end this strong, guys. End this strong... Oh, well. I mean, we creamed Shy Guy. He didn't get... <laughs> he didn't get a great score on the back nine like I did. Yeah, seriously, my back nine performance was really good kind of evened out at the end, but I mean, hey, I got a 34 on the front nine, a 31 on the back nine, and four birdies in a row too, which is really nice. So that's, uh, I believe, eight birdies overall. Man, I have a lot of work to do on those birdie badges. I'll go ahead and mention, mention this now, but I think uh, once I, like after I do tomorrow's video, which is the character match, um, I'm going to probably do a session or two of birdie badge grinding, where I'm basically going to Revisit holes. I'm not going to show the whole round. I'm just going to show the holes where I need to get birdies on and basically just try them again because I do want to try to get to uh, the 50 birdie badge character um, as soon as possible just to have another character option we can work with. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's um, Shy Guy International, I believe is what, it's, what this was called. Pretty good score, I'd say. Get 600 points for our gold trophy. Which is more than enough to get the uh, next course, which is the Yoshi course. You also get some uh, bonuses with the uh, course points as well. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much that tournament. So we are halfway through all the tournaments, actually. Um, 
just very quickly. I, again, I'll show this off. But yeah, you can see your tournament results here. Yeah, I have a lot of ground to work on. Well, I have about, like, eight. I'm averaging about nine per course at the very least, so... But I still have some work to do. In some cases, I still have more than half the course left. Um, but yeah, we uh, have gold trophies for the Toad Tournament, the Koopa Cup, and the Shy Guy International. Um, it'll be a bit till we do the Yoshi Championship, but that'll be the next tournament we do for sure. Um, and yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I got. So um, I want to thank all you guys for watching this. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be trying to unlock a new character. So uh, I'll see you guys for that. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Later, folks.